Hey everybody, this is Dave from the Scooter Lounge with an introduction to the Vespa GTS 300. This video is for those of you who bought one and maybe aren't totally familiar with the controls. So I'm going to explain how to turn it on, how to use the different functions, access the seat compartment and glove box, and get it on and off the kickstand. Okay, we need to talk about keys because the new GTS has a keyless fob system. Your dealer should give you a fob and one of these and this even though it looks like nothing this is actually really critical this is your master key it's got a chip in it the fob needs to be paired to the scooter and it will unpair itself after a certain amount of time you can also unpair it intentionally when you want to the way you know that it's paired is if you push one of the buttons and the green light comes on it means that it's paired so i'm going to unpair it really quick we push the top button and then we hold it and push the bottom button and the light turns red now it's no longer paired. Same thing in reverse, hold the top button, push the bottom button, green light comes on, now it's paired. Why would you wanna unpair it on purpose? Well, whenever the key is within a couple yards of the scooter, it will allow someone to walk up and turn it on. If you're close to where your scooter's parked, you don't want someone to be able to come up and start it, so you could unpair it. It will also unpair itself with a certain amount of time. When it's unpaired, you can still use it to start the scooter, but you need to hold it right here. There's a little Wi-Fi symbol right here in the plastic. And if you hold either of these keys near that, it will also allow you to start it. So these buttons do two things. The top button just flashes the turn signals. It's like a bike finder. The bottom one opens the seat. If you hold it for a few seconds, the seat will pop open. So under here you have your underseat storage compartment. This is removable if you spill a soda or something in here, you can take it out and wash it. Gas goes in here. Um, when you fill it, on the GTSs they do have a tendency, if you, if you pump the gas really fast, it'll kind of burp out some gas before it shuts off the pump. It will shut off, it'll just shut off a split second too late. So when I fill mine up, I put the gas cap like this and prop up the seat bucket. And then I just pump, I put the nozzle as far in as I can and I pump slowly. And sometimes you can manage to do it without spilling any gas. Uh, it is annoying, it is a well-known uh, issue with the GTS scooters. They just, the gas pump doesn't always shut off fast enough. All right, so when your key is in proximity and the key is paired to the scooter, then all you have to do is have the key nearby and you push the ignition switch in and you'll see it'll say welcome on the dash. At that point, you just turn the switch and you can turn it all the way over to the right to turn it on. And now the scooter's ready to ride. To start it, you squeeze one of the brakes and push this button here. You can turn it off with the emergency kill switch here. Although you can also, and I recommend just turning it off with the, with the knob. This button right here, it says ASR on it. That will uh, deactivate the anti-slip regulation, which is like a traction control. Why would you want to do that? You probably wouldn't. Most people would leave that feature on and it does reactivate itself every time you've turned the scooter off and on again. But if for some reason you wanted to turn off the ASR, you just hold this button for a second. When it's flashing like that and the ABS light is flashing, that just means that they are ready to go. And as soon as you start riding and it gets a wheel speed reading, those lights will turn off and stay off unless there's a problem. If either of those lights comes on and stays on, it means that there's a problem with the anti-slip regulation or the anti-lock brake system and that's when you would bring it in for us to hook it to the computer and find out what's going on. This button right here will open the seat when the ignition is on. So that's another way to open it. There is a third way to open the seat and this would be for emergencies. Um, if you pop the glove box open, which you do by pushing this knob all the way in, then inside of here is a manual cable release mechanism for opening the seat. You also have a USB port. You can put your cell phone in here and charge it if you want to. On the left hand side you have the high beam and low beam switch. To the left turns on the high beam, the middle is the low beam, 
and if you momentarily switch it to the right, blinks the high beam. So if you want to let someone know you're coming, you can do that. This button toggles through the menu on the digital display. It's kind of a joystick. This is used to set the clock, to check your trip time, trip meters, uh, average miles per hour, maximum miles per hour ever traveled, battery voltage, miles per gallon that you're getting, stuff like that. Fuel gauge is on the left, temperature gauge is on the right. This switch here is the turn signals. It doesn't tell you which direction your signal is on, it just tells you that it's on. But to cancel it, you push the button in the middle. And then the button below that is the horn. So that gives you an overview of all of the controls, the buttons that are at your fingertips, how to access the seat and glove box, how to turn it on and off. This is a bag hook. You can hang a small bag of groceries or takeout on there. When you're riding with a passenger, you have these fancy footrests that fold out. Those are nice to have. And last thing to show you is the stands. So there is a kickstand that it can lean on. Whenever that stand is down, the motor will not run. If you put it down while, you're, while your motor's running, the motor will turn off. So be aware of that. This other stand is called the center stand. And to take it off the center stand, you roll the scooter forward. To put it back on the stand, you want to push down as if you're just pushing this into the ground. That's it.